Hey there, this is Canadian Conquistador. If you ever had an instance of a thought of bugging out into the mountains here in Colorado, think again. Here, the only thing that awaits you is misery and death. Bugging out, what a concept. God help us all if we ever have to. My credentials are, I'm an avid through hiker and I know how it is to walk long distances. Bugging out is requiring either a vehicle or requiring walking long distances. Perhaps bugging out might not be your best option, especially when you're considering going deep into the mountains. When all things go awry, anything that could go wrong goes wrong. God help us all if we have to bug out. This means that absolutely everything went wrong. Nukes went off. We've been invaded. We're being forced into camps. Any kind of unforeseen event that happens that causes us to drive, to leave our homes, bugging out is a last resort. Bugging out simply means a means of self-preservation. When all other things go awry, when everything is being destroyed around us. Some of us are prepared for a bug out moment by having packs ready to be grabbed in a moment of crisis and to flee the area as soon as possible. Some of us are prepared for that, some of us are not. And quite frankly, I honestly want bugging out to be my last resort. And some of you have this concept of bugging out into the mountains. I have a few problems with the mountains. I'm an avid through hiker and I've been in the mountains at 100 mile stints at a time on foot with a backpack in my bag, collecting my own water, bringing my own food with me. And I'm telling you the mountains are probably the last place you would want to survive. And it could mean that you are walking into your grave some of the problems I have with bugging out into the mountains is the fact that it is very rugged. It's almost impossible to get in there without four-wheel drive. If a SHTF situation does occur, some of those roads are going to be closed. You may be closed down in the mountains yourself. There are also other problems with bugging out into the mountains, such as overpopulation. If you are like I, who live around the Denver area, there's millions of people that live here. They're all going to be fleeing into the mountains as well. How many resources do you actually think are in these mountains? Yes, when I was hiking in these mountains, I saw a lot of squirrels and stuff, chickmunks, but you can't live off those. People are going to be short on resources. There's not enough food. It's so overpopulation is gonna cause overhunting regular animals are going to be extinct. People are going to be over foraging. There will be nothing else green to eat. They'll be over fishing. There's not going to be any food left in those mountains. It's going to be like being in the mall is if they aren't shot already and killed, there are predators up there that are man eaters, such as the bear, the mountain lion. Another problem is going to be the weather and the climate. Lightning strikes constantly on the top of the mountains up there. If you get caught in one of those storms, I'm talking a lightning strike every 30 seconds. There's extreme cold in the winter, and even in the summer you can have cold spells come in there. You have avalanches, you have mudslides, you have hurricane force winds. It gets down to the extreme cold, and during the summer you can even have extreme hot temperatures. There's blizzards, they can go on for days, shutting you in. If you didn't make any kind of shelter, you will die in that. Let's not forget to mention elevation sickness because you're gonna be up in high altitude, especially if you're not from around here. Some people will get very sick off this elevation and altitude. And what are you gonna do for water? Many of the water sources in the mountains are aquifers and dried up streams in the summertime. You can bring water with you but it's only gonna last a certain while. You can filter out your water if it's mud, but think about this, and I think that this has happened before, that when armies come in, 
that they go to the mountain sources of water and they poison it so that it forces anybody trying to live up there to come down out of the mountains into civilization where they can be managed. You're only going to be able to get into the mountains via four-wheel drive. Now this can be a positive also, but in a negative sense, if you don't have four-wheel drive, you're walking. Also a problem with going into the mountains is your resupply. There is none. There's no stores in the mountains. There's no resupply. There's no medical. If you injure yourself up there, you're probably going to die. There's also going to be communication dead spots. Let's say your cell phone does still work or your GPS still works. There are so many dead spots up there, you might walk for days without even getting a signal. So there's no calling for help. There's no talking to your family across the country. Now let's go into the psychological living out there. People are going to go crazy. It's going to be overpopulated. People are going to be starving. There's no resources to eat. There's nothing to drink. People are going to start robbing each other. And if you decide not to do that, become a hermit and go crazy even by yourself. Being isolated in solitude will cause you to go crazy. It's happened before. The worst thought possible. Think about it. You have all these people living up there in the mountains, chopping down every single tree for firewood, building shelters, shooting each other. They're gonna start raiding each other's camps. Soon, the only resources is gonna be each other. People will soon turn to cannibalism. It's happened before. Look at the Dahmer party. They got closed in in the winter time. They had no resources, no food, and they began to resort eating each other. This is a true fact. So you're gonna have overpopulation. You're gonna have raiders. You're gonna have a military presence trying to come in there and put some order to it all. You're gonna have people afraid, fearing for their lives. You're gonna have victims and you're gonna have villains. You're gonna have the ones pillaging and forming groups and going out and raiding camps and raping women and taking the men and eating people. This is all doom and gloom, but I'm telling you, if you run into the mountains, this may be what is expected to happen. Maybe you'll reconsider bugging out into the mountains if SHTF ever happens. I hope you got something from this video. I didn't mean to scare you, but I am a realist. I try not to live in the fantasy, but I also think about these things for my own safety and self-preservation. And I hope you consider some of these ideas that I'd mentioned. Until next time, see ya.